hey what is up guys so today i'm back with another video and today i'm going to talk about how to use alexa intercom feature so i know a lot of you guys might have alexa and don't know that alexa can actually use a intercom feature but today i'm going to show you how to do it in case you don't know so before i get started make sure to like share comment and subscribe because a lot of you guys are watching and are not subscribed so let's get it right into the video real quick so you know a lot of time you're at home whether you have kids or whether you have your parents and you're trying to talk to your parents but they are far away or you're trying to get the attention of your kid and he's far away or the doors are locked or whatever and you can't bother to shout because you know shouting will be ineffective because the doors are closed and all that well if you have alexa alexa will solve your problem so today i'm going to talk about how to do the intercom in alexa so the first step that you want to know is all the device name in the house so you basically want to know what the one in the living room is called what the one is in the kitchen is called and whatever that way you can just make alexa know that hey i want to make this intercom announcement in just the kitchen or in the living room because you think the kids are in the living room or say in the kids room because you're in the kitchen cooking and you want to tell them that hey dinner is ready and it's time to go get some food come out of your room turn off the game in 10 minutes blah 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 so after that you know whatever the alexas are called in each room you're going to open up the alexa app on your smartphone and tap devices in the lower right hand corner the device screen offers you a choice on the top of the screen to view just Amazon devices on your network. So that's going to be labeled either Echo or Alexa or all the Alexa devices that you got. The difference, the dif there's a difference. So Amazon device let you use drop in feature to communicate in other rooms with Alexa dev um, devices like ones from Sonos don't so that's the difference right there so after that you're gonna tap Alexa or Echo you'll see a list of Amazon devices those that are offline will be labels as such so you know the ones that are offline you clearly can't use them and each device will have its own assigned name that you can use to do a direct command so you can say hey i want to make this announcement heard in that room the kitchen or whatever as i said before and so by the way if you don't like any of the assigned name you can also change it um you can change it right there on this page just tap the name of the device and it will let you change the name you edit the name and i would just say advise you that if it's in the living room just simply call it living room alexa or whatever more than just call it a name that you wonder huh where is this again so i'll say just do that that will be the most wise idea and once you know the name of your device that you want to call you can just simply use the command drop in to talk to another room which has an echo dot name so let's say the master room for example just say alexa drop in on the master bedroom so let's say you're in your room and you want to talk to your mom in the master room you can just say hey alexa drop in on the master room the device in that room will chime its light if any will turn green so that the green light will indicate that somebody is about to give a announcement on your alexa devices you will then be able to hear what's going on in other rooms through your own device then they'll be able to hear what's going on in yours so you can basically have a conversation right there and there so this device is also useful say let's for instance you're in your bedroom as a parent and you want to know what's going on in your kid room you can just chime in on their room and you basically can just be like a creep or something or a stalker or something and just listening on their conversation so i'm guessing let's say you have a teenager you know teenagers are always on their phone let's say they are talking which 
a lot of teenagers don't really talk on the phone these days they more than like you text their partner or their girlfriend or their boyfriend or whatever so you won't be be hearing much but let's say you want to hear their conversation you can just chime in hopefully they don't see the light or hopefully they are not aware because as you know they can hear your side of the room but i think there's a feature that you can also disable this right there and there so after this that's by having a conversation so to make the actual announcement now if you're not interested in the two ways conversation then you can use the announce feature instead this will send a message to all enable alexa devices whether they're from amazon or not so the first one the first um want to talk to each other it have to be from amazon but with this announcement feature it can be from amazon or not so for to do this just say hey alexa announce or alexa announce alexa would ask you what you like to stay you just state your message um just say you want to make the kids aware that dinner will be ready very soon you just say hey alexa tell the kids that dinner will be ready in 50 minutes or just say kids go to bed or just say turn off the lights say you're in your room and you don't want to get up just say turn off the lights or hey turn off the passage lights or hey close the door or whatever or just you just want to have, have make people know or you can use this in so many ways you can do this as a creepy say somebody breaking your house god forbid and you just talk to them imagine breaking into somebody else and then you, you're like the house start to talk like say hey i see you put down those groceries but why would you go into somebody gro house to thief groceries but yeah guys that's basically how you do the announcement feature and alexa and also the intercom where you can either talk to somebody or you can listen in on somebody or you can do both so you can make announcement you can have a conversation you can listen in on other people rooms and all those stuff so that's how you do it it's a pretty simple step i get i'm guessing a lot of you guys don't know that this feature was available but now you know and i think this feature is gonna be a good feature and also a bad feature how it's gonna be a bad feature um let's say you're at home and you wanna listen in on somebody conversation and i mean that's kind of privacy inv invasion so yes say you have your daughter or whatever and you want to listen in what's going on in their life they might be telling their friends something like privately or you know that would be kind of like creepy i think but in a good way you can say let's say you're list you could listen in on your kid um conversation and maybe know whether they are safe online or whether or not they are getting threatened or how they feel let's say they're crying in their room and they're depressed you can probably hear they're crying and you just go to their room and you know that something is very much going on and you can talk to them from there and as i said say, say somebody breaking your house and you see them and you want to scare them you can just talk which i hopefully this word hopefully the person will get scared and run away and not just continue to do their business or maybe shoot alexa in his face or whatever but that's a good way right there and as i said the bad way is just basically privacy inv invasion and this is just another way that i'm proving that these devices that we have in our homes these days are basically listening to our lives whether or not it's the whether or not we press the button to say hey i want to make an announcement or not because just by pressing that button they can listen in they can listen on your conversation but what if you don't press that button you don't think that that same device can just activate by itself just like that I think so I don't know about you but I think that they can very much activate by their self without you pressing that one record button or that one intercom button so that's why I said no nothing in this world is private again maybe 100 years ago 50 years ago you could have a little bit of privacy but these days um, sometimes I even wonder why you bother to like hide certain things because it's there I mean a lot of people don't have the knowledge to go and hack you online but a lot of people have the knowledge to see your credit card in 
in public and just write down the number and all that but they don't a lot of people won't have the knowledge to like find that information online from you and all those stuff so you still are kind of private but let's say you do a lot of online business then i would say you're definitely not private especially if you save all your images and videos on the cloud and all those stuff you're definitely not private again they can always tap in on everything these days i believe but that's just my opinion and that's it for this video guys thank you guys for watching and i'll talk to you guys in my next one peace